Hello everybody, this is Greg Christensen at Grandview Livestock and we got those kids there and I was going to show you what we do with them next and uh, we, you're going to need a hot box as you can see this one we put straw in it and a uh, heater there in the back and it would be nice to have something to keep the kids from getting up against that heater because they'll want to crowd it and they'll get way up against it so we built this little Maybe some chicken wire on it and then you got a top now I don't have it hinged because that way we can put it over as much of it or as little of it as we need to depending on how warm it is outside you don't want them to get too hot but you want hot air <coughs> blowing on them so we've got the uh, the does and the kids outside here and uh, to show you here what we do next So we'll put these kids in here and start getting their body temperature up. Travis has marked them so we know which ones go to which, which Danny out there. They'll warm up quick. They'll be fine. Alright, I like to set them up on something so I'm not bent over, stooped over, trying to some milk them out of them to get some colostrum out of her to feed that kid. Got the uh, colostrum. Uh, we still only had about an ounce. So we're going to go with that. Well, I've got some frozen we could feed him, but. Uh, We'll wait and see here. We might do it for somebody else. Now you want to have this is a catheter actually, but um, you can get it from Premier One Supply if you want to. You might be able to get them if your wife is a nurse or something. Um, but uh, you know, fit this type of a syringe. I think it's uh, you can get them from Premier also, or from your nurse friend. Stretch him out. Stretch your head out. You there? If he's balling, you're in the right place. If that tube goes way in there like that one, that's you're gonna be in the right place. If you're in the lungs, it won't go in there that far. We know it was good because he's balling now. If he wasn't balling, I'd pull it out and I'd do it again. And then get him across him. I'll get him started. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give him some of the dextrose and the ringers. He's not quite standing up very well, so I think an ounce of colostrum is probably plenty for him right now. Once he gets up standing and motivating his... So his mouth isn't real cold, but it's not warm like it ought to be. So I'm gonna give him some dextrose and lactating ringers. I've got it here. In the hot box, I like to kind of keep it warm.
the lactating ringers is just some electrolytes. Now you're going to have to get that from your veterinary. I don't know why, but uh, it's a veterinary only item. I'm going to draw 45 cc's of lactating ringers. Then this dextrose, 50% dextrose, and you can get that at any farm supply store. I'm going to suck on up about the remaining 15 cc's into this syringe of the lactating ringers. Now we got the dextrose and lactating ringers just mixed together. I like to just put a sub Q. Subcutaneous underneath their shoulders, underneath the skin. We'll put a little on that side. We'll put a little on this side. If this kid is real cold, his body won't, his body won't digest that colostrum. This will save your colostrum, save your time. Get him warmed up, get him some dextrose and ringers. And uh, then when he can stand, that's kind of my, my criteria, then I feel like they can uh, go ahead and digest the colostrum. So we're going to warm him back up here. Some more colostrum out of her. <laughs> He's not quite able to stand and stuff. He's warmed up there. Um, you, she'll probably have more. Okay, so this is a couple hours later. He's finally standing up. I gave him the dextrose and ringers again. And uh, we're gonna let him stand up. His mom's balling to him. She's right next, right next door here. So he's better than he was. He's not out of the woods yet. And I'm going to keep him in the hot box and then probably tube some colostrum down him that I stole from uh, one of these other nannies we brought in. Yeah, these, these two kids on this red nanny that we brought in, uh, they've been up there and nursing and uh, they're going to be all right. They were born yesterday, but they were just out there and the, really just laying and standing water there after the rain last night and cold and shivering. So uh, uh, these pens are, are pretty valuable to have when you need them. We don't need them all the time, um, but see, we've got uh, six pens here and we've got three nannies in here right now. It just depends on the weather. If we can go all kidding season and hardly even use these pins, uh, maybe do an adoption or, or some other 
problem like that. But uh, you get a cold rain, you get any kind of a adverse weather, and you're going to need something like this to bring them up into uh, one at a time. Um, so I think everybody's going to make out okay. We'll check on this uh, other kid here. Give him a little more time in the hot box. There we go. There he's sucking now. Kind of, isn't it nice when a plan comes together? Well, another success story. This is Greg Christensen, Grandview Livestock. Hope you're having a good day.